Hashimoto's is something that we can add on autoantibody testing, but usually that's caught by conventional practitioners. And when practitioners catch that, they will put you on thyroid hormone because they never really expect you to get better. Well, we expect you to get better and there are ways to support your system so you don't necessarily need as much thyroid medication. Now, to be fair, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to take any hormones and I don't want to take any drugs. And that is your prerogative. That is fine. And I'm not anti-drug by any means uh, because I think that there is a time and a place. What we've set up with naturopathic MD is functional medicine specialists. We want to help the body work better so it's able to work more optimally so that you give it what it needs in order to produce the hormones naturally. However, thyroid hormone is one of the least problematic medications that you can take. And so it's one of the things that I'm the least worried about as far as prescribing for patients. Thyroid hormone can be abused in some ways. And I think that's why a lot of convention doesn't necessarily want to prescribe T3, which is the active form, because when you give T4, there's kind of safety mechanisms so people can't overdo it because it does take time to convert from T4 to T3. And again, I said it happens in the peripheral parts of the body because T4 is kind of a storage form as well. 